Alright, James, I'm gonna go to you. The shooting gun, James! Fuck! Fuck! Oh. Shit, oh shit, 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 shit. Fuck! I got down. Yo, what's up guys? It's your favorite mammal, and that was my boy Vic, Victor, Raging, and also I want to give a shout out to that guy on wheels. I mean, I appreciate him, you know, like, enjoying my YouTube videos, and I just appreciate that for my subscribers that, like, enjoy watching my videos, man. That, that's cool. That's a cool thing. But, yes, this is Girl Phobia, Phobia, oh my god, no, Girl Phobia Part 3, and this is where I talk about my high school years, not necessarily all of my high school years, but there's this one sudden girl that I enjoy that I, not enjoyed with the that I liked for about like two years, and it, it's a long story, but I'm gonna put it as short as possible. And that, if you don't know what I mean by girl phobia, it is a series that I talk about my shyness with girls because people thought that I was shyness with this girl. About if you see in girl phobia part one, I'll leave the past two videos of this series in my description below part two and part one but anyways guys um so girl phobia part three um it all freshman year i really like this girl let's call her um alejandra for the sake of privacy sake you know what i mean and the reason why i say alejandra is because she's latina you know and i mean you know you know they you know what to say about latinas you know big booty nah no, i'm just kidding not but now this girl i really liked her because she was pretty and everything you know liked her for eight months but it, it, i think it was no it was just a crush for eight months but then when i really started to like her was when we started talking so i as as high school began i read i never knew like how to make a move on girls that i didn't know from like my middle school so Facebook was a huge thing. Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> Thank you. But anyways, what I did on Facebook was that I liked my status. You know, you know that thing called like my status. If you you put on your status, like my status, and I'll describe stuff about you. But my I had a unique style of like my status. What I did was like my status, and I'll do a rap for you. That's what I did. And this was a move. A you know indirect move for me to actually like talk to her. It wasn't for uh, my other like Facebook friends. It was just like specifically specifically for her for me to talk to her. But so she liked it. I was real happy. And before this Facebook thing, we actually had something going on. Like her friends already knew about me having a crush on her. So she actually kind of knew that I was like interested in her. And so the next day came after the, like my status thing. We had each other for the class, and what happened was that everyone was like, Hey, ooh, like your status. But what I didn't know is that she did not like having a t she does not like having attention. And that was a big problem because whenever like but when like friends in our class friends in our class would say like, Ooh, James and Jessica, she would be like, uh, you know what I mean? So she she didn't really like the attention, that was a big turn off. But anyways, but she was actually blushing in this part because she was like, James, do the rap for her in class. It was the most awkward day of my life between a, me and a girl. Because we were just like, uh, uh. like I was supposed to do the rap. That was supposed to be my move. But I was too shy. So, end of that story. So, we started talking more. And we actually went in the movies once. She invited me. But there was this drama between her and a guy that they were going secretly going out. But I never believed that. But, you know, that, that's a long story. Let's skip through that. Now, the, here's where we started liking each other. Uh, we went to the movies once. Um, by, e well, one one of her friends, me, and her. And Alejandra, um, she was sitting right next to me. She just came off surgery, so she couldn't walk. Um, the most beautiful thing I did, I actually, <laughs> not beautiful, but I actually got to grab her, hold her. Oh, my God, her legs were so good. Mm, mm, mm. But her legs felt so good, and I just got to hold her, and then I, because she was handicapped, so I held, I had to grab her for her to go up the stairs. I held her in my hands. So that was a great moment. But besides that, um, that was freshman year, you know, total drama. Then sophomore year, we didn't have a class, but I had, to, I still had to make my move. So came home, I had to ask her to homecoming, and I actually did, but she actually wanted to go dance. 
to the movies because she, she's a movie person but I hate movies personally but she said she wanted to go to homecoming uh, and then we I asked her but after this she said she told she texted me one day to say hey James I was like uh, what's up and then she was like uh, I don't want to go you know I didn't want to go to prom homecoming right and I was like what what are you talking about she's like you know I didn't want to go to homecoming I was like whoa well, come down girl like she te she texted me that we were supposed to go to the movies and then there was drama and then she's like I didn't text her back and then the last thing she said was um, what did she say she said oh if you if you're not gonna test me back at this, I guess this is over. And then, and that was pretty much it. So that that's where our like story ended. We never text each other back. It was just like a boom, boom, you were done. That was pretty much it. But what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna talk to a girl, and you're gonna see me live talking to a girl, a random girl. I'm gonna end my girlphobia. That's gonna be girlphobia part four. See you later.